Hello, good day, and welcome back to DBK Consult. In this series of lectures, we've seen how we can transform a single piece of architectural drawing into a structural frame that looks just like this. And we went ahead to create a 3D realistic model of that general arrangement. And today we'll be going to the analysis and design of all structural members. We'll be starting off with the slab, then we move on to the beams and the columns and every other structural members on this very model. Let's not forget that there are some important pre-analysis setup we need to make before we run our analysis, which we've done in the previous video. We saw how we can select our concrete grade, our steel grade, and also we generated our load cases and combinations. So today we'll be going fully into the analysis and after the pre-analysis tab, there's an option for analysis over here. Coming to this analysis tab, if you observe this point, you will see that our building analysis is marked bad. So that means there are no existing building analysis or the building analysis that was done for this structure earlier is not valid at this very point. So what we are going to do is we'll run a quick building model check it helps us to check if we have uh, clashing members like our overlapping slabs overlapping columns and you can go through this list so this will help us to detect if we have errors on this model so i'll click start here and you can see model check is completed and we currently do not have any errors on this model so let's come back so if you come down to this part, you will see we have an option for column slash wall reinforcement design and we also have an option for building design. But we'll get to this. What we want to do is just a general analysis of the structure. So I will skip this for now. We'll come back to it and I will click this start. Now I'm going to start the process of analysis for us. It will take just a short time depending on the capacity of your laptop. So our analysis was completed in three seconds, let's say approximately four seconds. And uh, that is it. We are done with our analysis, as simple as that. So don't forget, what we've done is just analysis. We've not done the design of our members. So let's see the results from our building analysis. To do that, we'll come to post analysis here and we'll click on model and analysis results display. So this is it. And this is our model. I'll maximize this. So we can check the effect of those loads and load combinations that we selected prior this time to see how our structure will deflect or will be displaced under those different loading combinations and uh, load cases. So to see that, I will come to, you no, know, we are under displacement. This is under displacement. So this is, if I take out this displacement, this is our model. Just, this is just our model. This is our fixed end moment that we applied. And if you click on this displacement, you can now see how our structures will be displaced. So this is how our deflections become on uh, each of these structural members. To see how they will behave, I'll click on this animation. You see, this is how our structure will tend to behave under loading. So this is uh, the behavior under our dead load. So this is how our structure will behave under our dead load. We can also check our pattern dead load. Same thing. Then let's check how our structure will behave on our imposed or life load. So this is for our life load or our imposed load. This is the behavior pattern of our life load. Then our notional load, which comes from the side, we can also check the effect. So if we click on this, it will show us uh, our notional load, which is pushing this structure towards that is coming from the x axis so it's pushing it towards the x axis same as our notional load from the y axis and uh, i will close this up so let's go ahead to design for our slabs and all structural members keeping in mind that what we've done at this stage is only a building analysis and not the design itself so to design for our slab we'll close this come to where we have our slab which is on our ground floor and we'll come to concrete member 
there's an option for slab strip here so you can see slab strip and there's also a shortcut here here for our slab strip so if we click here it will open the slab strip uh, dialog box then we have two different tabs here we have the general and we have the fe finite element but, we, but for this case what you do is you stay on the general tab on our general tab if you come down to this point you will see if you come down to this point you will see analytical strip here ensure you are on analytical strip there are options for other strips here like our finite element strip so we use the fe strip for cases like our raw foundation but for this case we are dealing with just a normal solid uh, floor slab so we have to stay with analytical strip so we are designing this as a continuous slab so we have to run a strip around this x axis so we we'll run here and we we'll also run we we'll short the goal is to ensure that the strip touches each and every of our slabs on the x axis and on the y axis if this video has been helpful to you kindly give us a like and subscribe to our youtube channel while you turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime we post new videos because we promise you we have a lot and a lot to do together and if you observe this we have at start and we have at end so what this point is speaking about is at the start of uh, our strip we want to start running our strip what are we going to encounter so if you observe this we have slab we have a bulb and we have cantilever so if you look at this point let's say we want to run because we were starting with the x-axis if we want to run a strip across this point at the start of uh this slab strip what do we have we have a cantilevered slab here yeah? then at the end we have a bulb so our bulb means a beam right please keep that in mind don't worry as we start to draw our slab strip you will get to understand more what each of these diagram represent so for this case i will click on cantilever and it's ending at a bulb so this is at my start cantilever at my end i will stay with bulb so i will click this point hold my control to draw a straight slab line a uh, strip line rather and it's ending at a bulb so i will click here so it has designed this slab for me on the x-axis keep in mind that this strip will not design for any of these slabs that it did not touch so it has to touch that very slab for it to be able to design for it so if we look we have uh, y12 at 250 so we'll come back to all of this later let's draw for this second slab uh this second slab and if you look at the stats we have slab uh cantilever slab here and we also have beam at the end so we'll click we'll stay with the same conditions cantilever and bulb we'll click from this point we'll come down and click here so after designing for these two slabs, you will agree with me that we have just these two left undesigned. And since we've already designed for this very one here, there is no need to run this strip across this full span, right? There's no need to run this strip across this full span. So what we'll do is we'll still maintain our cantilever at the start, but at the end, we'll be ending at a slab so there's an option for slab here so we'll click at the end slab at the start cantilever so we'll come here click start cantilever then at the end is a slab so i will click you see it has only designed for this other panel so i believe that is clear now so you have to look at the start and end of your continuous slab before you choose the appropriate design options that you will use here so for this uh, other section, we're changing the stats from cantilever to a bulb. So we'll come here and click on bulb. And this part, we'll be changing this to from uh, a bulb, from a slab to cantilever. So we'll click here. So this is stats and end. We'll click here. And uh, okay, it has designed for that. Same thing. We'll draw for this. That's designed for this part. 
and the next thing we are starting from a slab okay and we're ending at a cantilever so we'll start from slab and end at cantilever now we are done with our slab shape for the x-axis the next thing is for us to draw on our y-axis so we'll come here click on y and at this point is starting at a bulb and ending at a bulb for let's say all cases so i will come here to bulb and click uh bob here as well so we have beam and beams so we'll click hold control and that's it to design for both directions hold control that's it hold control and this is it so you can see it has provided for both our b1 and our b2 so at this point we can say we are done with our slab design then to get our slab uh, checks or to get our slab calculation sheets we'll come down to this concrete design and we'll go to slab analysis and design we'll keep we'll leave this as do not modify existing steel because we want to stay with the y12 at 250 that's already been uh, designed for at this point so we'll click design So this is our slab calculation sheet and let's keep in mind that our slabs will be designed in respect to the strip so if the strip is covering five to six slab then it will design that uh, it will group those five to six slabs under that very uh, strip so under this strip x1 you will see that we have is 11 which are the these are the uh, different names of the panels the slab panels so what we we'll, we'll have to do at this point is under this strip we'll do some little checks uh which is most importantly our deflection check so these are the slab properties this is the effective depth over the thickness of the slab this is the imposed load this is the dimensions the length and the width and all of that but what we are concerned about is our deflection check so our l over d maximum deflection all over uh d is 5.04 which is less than 14 so our l is 5.04 and our d is 14 and it's actually sufficient so being sufficient it provided this reinforcement for us which is y12 at 250 bottom and also our supporting top bar is y12 at 250 so this is the design for this very slab strip we can also do that check here the same thing our effective depth of our thickness in post loads and all of this then our deflection check 5.04 less than 14 actually is sufficient same thing as this deflection check 40.86 is less than 52 so it's actually sufficient so look at all our slabs this is sufficient this is sufficient this is sufficient this is sufficient and uh all of this all of them they are sufficient so in case we have any slab that is failing, you will get to see the part that is insufficient from this calculation sheet. So with this uh, point, we can see we've wrapped up our slab design as simple as that. We are done with our slab design. So I'll go ahead and cancel this. And that is all for the slab design. Please keep in mind that after the slab design, we'll be looking at our beam columns and foundation designs. So please look out for the next video. Thank you very much for following till this point. We really appreciate. Kindly like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us so you get notified anytime we post new set of videos. Thank you very much and take care.